just gotten this big already. I mean, he's, he's huge. When we take him outside, you know, people get intimidated by his size. And, but he's actually a gentle one. He's a chow chow breed. We got him as a little tiny puppy and now he's almost one years old. He loves this treat. It's a pedigree meat jerky. Alright, so Z. Today, you like it? So what shall we do on your birthday, Z? We got him last year around mm, what time? What December. Time? Around December. And now he's nearly one years old. As you can see, yeah, he's, he has a mind of his own. Yeah, he actually wants to go outside, but we're not letting him out. <laughs> so yeah, he, I guess he's full. Uh, you see how big he is right now? Well, when we got him, he was only really tiny. Like he can actually, he's almost like the length of my finger all the way down to my elbow. So that's how small he was. And, and so when we got him, we got him from a breeder and he was so small, he can't even walk. Uh, he kept laying on our lap and we we're wondering, you know, does he know how to walk? <laughs> because he was just so small and, you know, so weak and fragile. And, you know, uh, so we, uh, time goes on, we gave him a lot of love, you know, and feed him a lot of kibbles and also some rice. You know, he loves to eat rice. Uh, I think his, he likes rice more than his kibbles. But if you mix chicken with him, oh, he goes crazy with it. Yeah. Uh, he's gone this big already. I mean, he's he's huge. When we take him outside, you know, people get intimidated by his size. And but he's actually a gentle one. Yeah. He doesn't bite. He likes to be pet. He loves to be petted. So, you know, a lot of you don't know that and they get scared, they hold themselves back or they, you know, they don't approach him because the size of him, look how big he is. But he's actually so gentle, right? You're a gentle boy, huh? Yeah, you don't bite. He loves to lick people. Very well house trained, so he, he doesn't have any accident. Yeah, he doesn't want to pee inside. Uh, sometimes, like when it rains really hard, we actually want him to pee outside of our yard, but he doesn't want to. He, he needs to go outside uh, to do his business. Yeah, so he's really good. Uh, yeah, he's a good boy. Yeah, he he requires a lot of high maintenance, especially with his hair. You know, he sheds a lot and we need to take him to uh, the grooming, uh, the pet grooming area. Uh, and we, we take him once a month, uh, depending on our mood also, <laughs> uh, because he's very costly, yeah. So we wanna make sure that his hair grows uh, long enough and for us to say, okay, this is, uncomfortable sight so we need to take him in and groom him and so we just groomed him like what is it a um, couple of weeks ago yeah so you know he looks really nice and proper and he looks he looks like a teddy bear after he finished grooming he looks like a lion before grooming i mean you can see his like mane like you know, well, his long hair but it's 
it looks like a lion's mane. Yeah. And he's, you know, he's a good boy. He, he's very gentle. He likes to be in this room because this room is all AC, you know, nice and cool. So he really enjoys it. So he would run outside, stay outside, sit outside, watch other dogs play. And then a couple more minutes, he would come back to this room and he would just lay down like this. <laughs> Show show creatures. He likes to play with other animals as well, but I think a lot of animals don't like him because you know um, here the animals doesn't really get socialized. They get all locked up, you know, in their backyard, whatever. I guess to to guard the house. But Z gets his daily walks. Daily exercise, and he goes to places where you know people actually get to pet him. Yeah, so that's why he's very gentle. Uh, when he was a baby, we take him to many places. We take him to uh, beaches, uh, outings, picnics. Uh, we bring him to the mall. He goes inside the, the Mega World Mall. Yeah, it's funny the first time because he. he a baby and he looks so cute and he just you know, he waddles when he walks. Well, he still waddles now but you know but uh there was his first time venturing into the mall and people really like him. He's a he's a karma chow chow. Most chow chow thinks that people think that they are aggressive territorial. Well he is but he's actually really calm. Uh, I guess because you know, you need to socialize him when he's young. Uh, otherwise, they get very aggressive and territorial. So it's always good to make sure that, you know, no matter what kind of dog you have, uh, whether Chow Chow or, or other breeds, you have to socialize them as a puppy. Uh, make sure they get a lot of human contacts and other, and other dogs, you know, uh, you get to play with other dogs as well. So that's how you make sure your dogs are well behaved. Uh, but he is, he's one of a kind, he's really handsome, uh, we're really lucky to have him, uh, I'm sure, you know, in his little brain, he's first thing, yeah, that's right. <laughs> he, he eats a lot, uh, when he was a baby, he eats a lot, he eats kibbles, uh, he eats rice, he eats, you know, like these kind of snacks that we buy for him. He, we try not to give a lot of, of leftover food because it contains a lot of uh, unhealthy ingredients such as you know salt and oils. But uh, I mean, we do once in a while we throw him potato chips, <laughs> uh, chicken, and, and you know, whatever he likes. I mean he, he likes our table food more than his food. He's <laughs> choosy. Picky, um, yeah. So I guess he doesn't eat the same food, uh, like more than I don't know, like two, three times, and then he, he will stop. So you have to make sure we always have to make sure we buy <coughs> new stuff for him or introduce new food for him. And sometimes we put too much food on his bowl. He would just go in and he just sniff it and walks away. He doesn't want to touch it. He drinks a lot of water. He's very good at staying home alone. Uh, we leave him for sometimes half a day. Um, and without, you know, he, he loves, no, I don't know if he likes to be home. I'm sure he wants to come with us. But sometimes we don't have a choice. We need to leave him by himself. And he will be fine, you know. He, we will come home and everything intact not like a tornado just hit us <laughs> yeah and when we open the door he he's so anxious to greet you he would jump on you with his two paws up like trying to give you a hug uh, he loves that yeah um, so every every new stranger he, he he wants to greet you but uh people get scared sometimes because of the way he approach you you know but he's actually very friendly. Uh, he hardly barks. Um, he only barks when there's when it's necessary, like when 
when somebody or when a stranger approach the door and like really get close to the door that's when he starts to bark but if the stranger just walk by or the dog walks by he'll just ignore it and if other dogs keep barking if the neighborhood dog keeps barking he won't bark he would just you know stay calm and quiet and look around so that's good you know that's really good because it's you know it's peace and quiet at home also he loves to sleep as you can see look at him right now you know uh, it's not like he's doing a lot, but it feels like he's done a lot of work. <laughs> but now he, he really enjoys his naps, uh, especially in the AC room. Uh, and then we, we take him to the vet. Uh, his vet likes him a lot. His vet says he's a really calm, behaved dog. Uh, but he's getting to the point where he knows that we're taking him to the vet. vet. So, you know, like any other dog, you know, when they smell, when they approach the place, they get dog nervous. So yeah, he's like, he's getting to that, to that age where he knows, oh no, uh, where's mommy and daddy going to take him? Why, why am I, why am I being in there? <laughs> uh, so yeah, he, he doesn't really like it anymore. But, you know, we have to make sure he's healthy always, right? Z? He takes vitamin, uh, his doctor prescribes him vitamin C, so you know, it's like a liquid drop that you drop into his bowl, bowl of water, or you can just put it into his tongue, you know, however you want it. He takes it, I don't know if he takes it daily, do you give him daily? Uh, yeah, so he likes that actually, yeah, he, that's the only medicine thing I think he likes. Oh yeah, and and we brush his teeth, uh, yeah, so he, he doesn't mind we brushing his teeth. I don't brush, uh, his mom brush, so um, he, he's okay with it. You know, he doesn't run away or, or try to bite at the toothbrush. So he's good. He likes to stay in a clean area. He would find a clean spot to lay on. Or he doesn't eat from a dirty bowl or drink from a dirty bowl. Uh, we will always have to wash his bowl afterward. And he doesn't like leftover food. So if there's leftover, forget it. You would have to, we would have to throw it away, yeah, and give him a new one. So, so he's very choosy and picky. You know, uh, he he sometimes could just not eat the whole day because of the food that he doesn't like. And then you hear his stomach growling. Like the other night, his stomach would growl. I mean, it was really loud in the middle of the night. And we're like, well, why is he not eating food? Because of the food that you gave him, his kibble, he doesn't like it anymore. He's bored with it. So yeah, he he, he would starve himself. <laughs> and then, uh, then finally we got up and gave him corned beef and rice. And he ate it all. And then he was, you know, he would go back to the city and he all happy. So, so yeah, sometimes it's hard to find the next kind of meal for him. Uh, coming up this Sunday, it'll be his one year old. Uh, birthday and we will blog about him see where we will host his birthday uh, by the way he has his own Facebook page so we'll link it down there so you, if you guys want to follow him uh, you know he'll be appreciated and you know subscribe or like him and that's it